With the holidays coming up, I wanted to give you a gift. So I am sharing my favorite microwave caramel recipe with you today. I'm going to tell you how I came up with this recipe, then I'm going to walk you through step by step of how to do it. Then I'm going to explain some other ways you can use it besides wrapped caramels. And last, I want to show you this cute kit I designed to go along with it. First off, how I came up with it. I used to make homemade caramels because caramels are one of my favorites using this recipe my sister gave me and it's so good but I had lots of problems with it because it would take an hour of stirring. I often boiled it over and sometimes I would burn it or they'd be too soft. I just seemed to have lots of problems. I was so excited to find out Six Sisters stuff had a microwave caramel recipe. I would make these all the time and they were no fail. I didn't have any of those same problems that I had with the old fashioned recipe. However, I realized they weren't quite the same I used a recipe for, that I got from my friend Michelle and I used kind of the same volume and the same cooking directions but more of the ingredients from the other recipe. Anyway, that's how I came up with it. So let's just get into making this recipe. For this recipe, grab a microwave safe bowl. It needs to be pretty large because it's going to boil up as it cooks in the microwave. You're going to add a half can of sweetened condensed milk. This is about three-fourths cup. I chose a half can because I wanted to be able to make two batches with a can of sweet condensed milk. Add one cup of brown sugar, one half cup of corn syrup, and one fourth cup of butter. I like to mix this up a little bit, but I don't worry about the butter too much. You could use your spoon to break up the butter into small pieces but it melts either way, so I don't worry about it too much. I just like to kind of mix up the sugars a bit. Then you're gonna put this in your microwave. You're going to cook it for a total of six minutes. You will microwave for two minutes, and then you're going to stir it, and microwave for two more minutes. Stir it up again, microwave for two more minutes, and then stir again. Now you can add in your vanilla. I use one teaspoon of vanilla, but honestly, you don't have to use the vanilla at all if you don't want to, or you could use a little less. Butter your eight by eight pan, then pour your caramel into the pan. I'm gonna add a few nuts, because I love nuts just on part of it, but some people in my family don't, so I'm gonna leave the rest without. You could mix the nuts in before you pour it into the pan if everybody likes nuts. Let it cool all the way before you wrap them, because I've noticed if I'm too anxious and excited to get them wrapped, and they're still a little bit warm, then they will stick to the wax paper. So I wrap mine with wax paper, and I actually usually let mine sit overnight if I can and I just cut them into small squares, probably about eight by eight, so it makes like 64 for me, but you can make them smaller or larger depending on what size you want them. Quickly before I move on, I just wanted to give you a couple of quick tips. First off, if your caramels turn out a little too soft, next time add an extra minute onto your cook time. I noticed with my last microwave that I just needed one more minute to get them how firm I like. But all is not lost for now. You can actually just set them out on your counter overnight and usually they'll firm up just to how I like them. If they ended up being too hard, on the other hand, next time maybe take off a minute and you can still salvage that batch. So just kind of cut it up the best you can. It's hard when the caramels are hard to cut into them sometimes. Um, add in a little bit of milk and a little bit of butter and put them back in the microwave just I think I did like 30 seconds, stirred it, 30 more seconds until it's nice and smooth and pour it back in the pan. And that worked for me last year when I lost track of time and cooked them a little too long. So I hope that helps. One of my favorite ways to use this recipe is for caramel popcorn. My kids love soft caramel popcorn and it's so fun to make them into balls and you can give them away as gifts or just eat them yourself. I use microwave popcorn. I just try and find the kind that has like the least amount of butter and stuff on it. 
and I use about one and a half bags of pop popcorn. If you dump the popcorn into one big bowl and then you kind of scoop it out with your hands into another, it kind of helps sift out those kernels because you definitely don't want to get kernels in your caramel popcorn. Pour the caramel over your popcorn and mix it in as best as you can. I like to put a little on top, stir it up, and then add the rest. And once it's mixed in really well, I let it sit for maybe about five minutes just till it cools enough that I can touch it. You don't want to burn your hands. And then I just form balls using my hands. If the caramel is sticking to your hands, you can put butter on your hands to prevent that. I wrap it with saran wrap and then I also try and keep it in a container sealed tight just so that they don't get hard. I can usually make about 9 to 10 popcorn balls with a batch of this recipe. This is the first time I've used this recipe for caramel apples and it worked great. I got some apples from my neighbor so I chilled those in the fridge. I let my caramel actually sit for a little bit before I started dipping the apples into it because it comes out in the microwave pretty hot. So I think I let it set for probably 10 minutes and I just kind of kept stirring it every now and then to cool it down a bit. I put a dowel on the top of the apples and then I just dipped it in and swirled it around, kind of tapped off some of that extra caramel. I put the apples on wax paper and stuck them back in the fridge to cool for a bit. Then I melted some white chocolate. I used a microwave safe bowl dumped my white chocolate chips into the bowl and cooked for about 30 seconds, stirred it up and did 30 more seconds. Then I just dipped my caramel apples into the white chocolate and then sprinkled some cinnamon and sugar on top, put them back on the wax paper, let them chill in the fridge. Once they were all set, then you want to kind of leave them out on your counter for a bit before you serve them so the caramel is nice and soft. So a couple of other ways that I like to use this recipe. One time I mixed them into Rice Krispies and then I added the little mini marshmallows and poured them into a 9 by 13 pan. Another way that we've done is my daughter's favorite, which was we took the caramels once they were firm and we just dipped them in melted chocolate and those were really good. Last but not least, if you would like to purchase the kit that I designed around this caramel recipe, you can find it on my Etsy shop. To make the box, print out the pretty pattern paper. Then on the back side, print out the light blue template. Cut around the outside. This template has white solid lines for where to cut. and then you fold along the dotted lines. You need to glue these four inside pieces to make the cute little box. Put your caramels inside the box. You can include the recipe too if you want. Close up the box. hole punch your tag, tie a pretty bow, and your gift's all ready. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. I hope you'll give this recipe a try and check out my Etsy shop. Happy Holidays!